Uh, welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I... <laughs> you, have, you have no memory? It's just exhausting. He's, he's it's, at this point, it's exhausting. He's dude. unimportant and I am Daniel. Oh, Who is the sommelier badass? Me. We're in the process of creating a monster. <laughs> we really are. Okay, today we are drinking a gift. Okay. Now, we have a pretty bad track record of getting gifts and shitting all over. Yeah, them. we really do. So. Now, and and I, I hesitate to say this, but this gift was from someone who actually came over and hung out with me. Okay. And I hesitate to say that because people will realize you can come over and hang out with you me. You mean from the YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a YouTube viewer. So, Devil's Milk. So here's the And thing. I'm about to out him. No, 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 there's two, cri there's two criteria. <laughs> For you to come hang out, you either need to be gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or give us a gift. Or both. No, no. You have to bring whiskey. So you cannot. So come... this guy was a handsome man. Yeah, you cannot me. come to the vault without bringing a whiskey for the vault. Yeah, all right. Um, now, I'm gonna out him as Carl. I won't give you his last name because you know interwebs and whatnot. Devil's so Carl came and hung the, out. The handle is Devil's Milk, which I like much better than Carl. Yeah, yeah. Devil's but Milk. Is he brought name. us this whiskey. Yeah, well, what? So This is called Barrel Bourbon. Now, here's the super cool thing about this. Hmm? Barrel Bourbon was an independent bottling company. Do I need to read this? Uh, no, no, no. You know, it's not like, actually a comment. It's a lot of... Yeah, yeah, ignore okay. it. So, Barrel, uh, Barrel Whiskey is an independent bottling company. Yeah. And they did what I keep ranting that people should be doing, hmm. which is sourcing, doing interesting aging techniques, yeah. and bottling other people's work. This whiskey specifically is a marriage of whiskeys from Tennessee and from Indiana, so MGP and <laughs> elsewhere, um, aged separately in rye and rum casks, and then blended back together. I'm getting alcohol in this. This is uh, batch four. Bottle 5,946. This is 11, 11 years old. 11 years old, and it's 60% alcohol. Yeah, I'm getting alcohol on that, is what I was saying. It's Yeah, it's punchy. What was the, no, the most recent... Um, it smells like rum. The it most, reminds me of the Angel's Envy rum cast. The most recent high alcohol content whiskey we have was Stag Jr. Yeah. What was that? What percentage? Uh, 66. Okay, this is 60. 60. So it's it's still up there. It's very perfumery. Ooh. It's ooh. Oh. very oily. Coats the mouth very quickly. And coconut. I'm getting. Mm. Yeah. Oh look, hey! Their website description says coconut milk. Uh -huh. Who is the Somalia badass? Me. I am. Now they also say uh, again. Um, if you saw the last episode, you're seeing we're in the process of creating a monster. <laughs> we really are. Uh, nutmeg, they say, uh... You're cheating. Raw chocolate. You're cheating. No, I'm, I'm gonna say what, look for these things. I don't things. care what they... No, no, no. What do you say? Well, I definitely got dark chocolate. Oh, great one. Oh, great one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna water it down a little bit. You know what? That's just, that's just, You're as much greatness as they could fit into a five foot two frame. <laughs> five foot two? You hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> you know I have a cousin who's five foot two who will swear to your face that he's six foot. <laughs> I mean, to your face, standing next to me. What's his What's his name, Dan? Uh, um, I can't say. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna look for the nutmeg here. Um, I don't have enough nutmeg. Coconut. To have a category for nutmeg. Coconut, pineapple. I tell you, with water, this really gets beautiful. Yeah. I could drink this whiskey all day. There's nothing sharp or aggressive or uh, despite how not much fun. Despite at 60% alcohol. Yeah, it's just so good. This is a damn good bourbon. They should be proud of this combination. And this gives me hope because it means that you really can source, yet age, and craft interesting things. I think this is probably the most, because I've seen pineapple listed on a few different whiskeys. This is the most um, I've ever been able to directly find that pineapple flavor and go, oh yeah, it's definitely there. Now, with the, between the coconut and the pineapple, I mean, this is almost a, this is a beach So they took Indiana. Beach whiskey. Yes, it really is. They took Indiana and Tennessee whiskeys and aged each of them, split it apart into rum and uh, rye, bar rye barrels. Hmm. Rye whiskey barrels. Yeah. And then they blended all four of those combinations back together. This is a, a it, unbelievably good bourbon. It tastes uh, and it feels with the mouth feel that we like to talk about so much. Yeah, that Rex the, the, likes to talk about. The oiliness 
is bam, immediate, it coats everything. Yeah. And the saturation of the flavors are immediate. It's not like you go hunting and it unfolds. It's like, it's gonna be big, loud, aggressive and flavors. And the lingering aftertaste is cherry. That oh. cherry you're always talking yeah. about is yeah. the lingering aftertaste. Yeah, I get that. Mm. Man, they did a damn good job. Now they just opened their own distillery. So they're now gonna start making their own stuff, but they're still sourcing whiskeys. Yeah. Do you think this would stand up to ice? No. You don't. Because I don't. to me, these are such oh, big, you know what? Uh, big, vibrant flavors. I'm making that judgment after I added water. Okay. That's a mistake. Mm. I think it probably could have stood up to ice before, before I put the water. water in it. Mm. But even then, the, these fall into the, the, their whiskey falls into the category of less wood flavor and more sweet flavors, right? And, and in my experience, it's the wood flavor whiskeys that stand up to ice. Hmm. This is not a wood heavy whiskey. But at the same time, sweet uh, is one of the handful of flavors that your tongue can still differentiate whenever things start to get ice. Yeah, ish. Now remember, you have to add way more sugar to ice cream to make it sweet at a cold temperature than mm. you would. So you don't think this is quite sweet enough? No, I don't think it's that sweet. So, yeah. Do I need to bring a, like a <laughs> Yeti? Because we keep talking about ice. We never have ice. <laughs> We've got an ice machine. You keep saying that. You never. 30 feet that you way. You never right? bring me ice. I never bring you ice. You okay. Get, you now, get featured on a popular uh, YouTube channel, and then, yeah, and then you don't have to carry about everything it. falls apart. The little now, people. Now, here's the thing Carl asked if we would sign this because we're famous. <laughs> now, here's what Carl said, and this is a verbatim quote. Right. Are you ready? <laughs> he said, Daniel, you should sign it really big because you're the sommelier, but Rex is a mooch. So he should sign it s small. You, you give me that marker, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say, uh, I hope he doesn't plan on... Oh, uh, look. I hope you don't plan on uh, showing this to any children. Oh! <laughs> Rex is gonna draw you a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 we're gonna have to have a yeah. We're gonna pixelate momentarily this, out of service, like <laughs> PBS channel me, like the <laughs> Carl. You asked for it, man. Mm -hmm. You told me to tell him that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, get ready to pixelate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now we did say you need your own mooch chain and necklace, but you'll have to steal it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I think I know where you keep that. No, 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 <laughs> can't do that. That's official. You know what? Hmm. Because you'd have to assemble this and that takes actual effort, which is never going to happen. I could mooch some effort. You can mooch anything, really. <laughs> you know, whenever you're this talented. Oh, that's the word for it. And good looking. People just want to do you favors. See, All right. see how aggressively I have to be an asshole to overcome your divaness. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It's, it's, Why would anybody... I love how you blame your assholery on me. <laughs> and yet I'm completely accurate. All right, until tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal. May you return before we have time to miss you. Thank you, Carl. Cheers. Mm -hmm.